Hello and welcome to worship at UCPC, Upper Clyde Parish Church. It is good to gather together to praise God who is worthy of our thanks and our praise and who is always with us no matter wherever we may be. Wherever and whenever you're watching this, uh, whether you're a regular attendee or if this is your first time, you are very, very welcome here. Now, if this is your first time, your first visit with us, and you've happened to stumble onto us through YouTube, we've also got a blog that you'd be very welcome to go and visit and where you'll find out a wee bit more about who we are and where we are. I'll put the details down at the bottom of this clip in the more information section. There are several church notices which are over on the blog page and I'll really not go into too much detail because they're, they're quite long. Um, but other than to say, just please do have a, a read, especially in relation to conversations in the news about the potential opening of worship spaces. Uh, we've had two presbytery meetings this week by Zoom, so I'm a little bit Zoomed out uh, on Tuesday and Thursday. And in those meetings, we were discussing all the regulations and checklists and health and safety assessments and all of that sort of stuff that needs to be done before we're anywhere near even opening just for individual private prayer should that be something we do. But please do go check the blog and uh, there's some details on there. Now, the other matter I'd like to flag up first is that I know that some of you have been wanting to find an easy way of being able to continue with your giving. So we've got a solution at last. You can now make your offering online and this is through the Church of Scotland. Uh, they've put together uh, a, a thing on their page uh, and it's a very easy and safe way of being able to give. Again, details are on the blog. Uh, I've also uh, done a dedicated blog page. So at the top of the blog, where you see all the wee header, header files, there's one that says online giving. Uh, if you click on that, uh, you'll be able to see a little bit more about how to, how to do that, how to make your offering. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I hope you have all been keeping well. I hope you're content. I hope you're safe. I hope you've been able to catch up with friends and family with the ease down, the, the wee bit of ease down we've had in lockdown. And uh, that seems to have extended uh, this last week. So uh, we'll be able to see a few more of our family and friends, hopefully, uh, and in a safe way. So I uh, hope to catch up with you over the course of the next week. And uh, if you know of anyone who would like a phone call uh, or who needs a bit of help from the food bank, do let me know. Again, we are a team. We all help with the pastoral care in this parish. And thank you in advance for letting me know as ever. Now, in our time of worship today, we're going to continue our theme for June, which is prayer, the types of prayer that you would find within a service of worship. And this is week three of our series. So in week one, having approached God, we've looked at the prayer of adoration. Having adored, last week we reflected upon the prayer of confession. And we thought a little bit about King David and and some of his very bad choices, and who in the end cried out for God's mercy, and this was granted. Moving from the prayer of confession, today we're thinking about the prayer of thanksgiving, and we're going to be exploring gratitude. Why should we bother? Why? Why should we bother to give thanks? Well, hopefully, uh, together we'll think of some reasons why. But for the moment, let's be still, let's pause as we prepare to meet with God in worship.
Let us lift up the name of the Lord and rejoice that God hears our prayers. God has changed our sadness into joy. God has taken away our clothes of mourning and clothed us with joy. So we will not stand silent, but will offer our hymns and our songs of praise. You, O God, are our God, and we will give thanks to you forever. So let us worship God. Our first hymn is as a good old classic. It's all people that on earth do twirl to the tune, the old 100s. So let us praise and worship God. <laughs> 